If I say pink flowers, what do you think of? Was it cherry blossoms? When you think of cherry blossoms, do you think of Japan? Well, I certainly do. However, today I am not talking about your average cherry blossoms. Today's video is about another special pink plant called Shiba Zakura, also known as grass cherry blossom or lawn cherry. Most people like to view the Shiba Zakura at Lake Motosu at the base of Mount Fuji, which is probably the most famous spot in Japan for it. Today, however, I'm going to share with you another gorgeous Shiba Zakura spot in northern Japan, but first, I have to get there. I snagged a domestic flight with ANA for just under 17,000 yen from Haneda Airport to go to Memonbetsu. Have you ever heard of that place? It's located in the northern part of Hokkaido. Memonbetsu Airport is a major hub for people wanting to travel to Shiretoko National Park. Some famous spots in the area include Shiretoko National Park, as mentioned, Asahigaoka Park, the spot I will introduce you to today, and Japan's most notorious prison, Abashiri Prison, which hosted over 1,000 of Japan's most dangerous criminals in the very late 1800s. All right, off I go to Hokkaido. The flight takes about one hour and 45 minutes gate to gate. Before heading into our hotel for the night, we stopped in Northern Japan's famous convenience store, Seiko Mart, to pick up some essentials. To our Japanese room and we are in Ozora town so Ozora the kanji is like big sky so cute though man we we're checking in he was like wait Japanese room is okay right because well I specifically asked for a Japanese room when we booked this hotel so I, I like it oh and he's like breakfast in the morning is Japanese is like Japanese style is that okay I was like it's okay zen zen daijoubu this. we are going to settle in for the night it's been quite a long day. We ended up renting a car for a few days to travel around Hokkaido. We're basically going from like north to south to Sapporo. Stay tuned. Anyway, I'm tired, gotta get my life together. This is our lovely rental car. <laughs> Bright and early, we made our way to today's destination, Higashi Mokoto Shiba Zakura Park. We have arrived! Apparently, the park opens at 8. However, I see people like walking around. It's about like 7.40 right now, which is why it's so misty because it is supposed to be a beautiful day like in the afternoon. But we are driving to another area later. I'm pretty sure the blooming season finishes the end of May, beginning of June. I'll check online and post it. But the man last night at the hotel told us that it's not as pretty as the other years because there's like some patches, but it's still beautiful to me. The ticket counter. I feel like we cannot really enter yet, but there's so many people up there already and it's not staff. It seems like from May 3rd to June 5th, there is a matsuri going on, a festival. And yeah, on certain days, there's certain events. And on May 21st, it lights up. That would be so pretty to see at nighttime, but I guess maybe it only does it on this day. I think those people who are up on the mountains from this tour bus here, which probably came 
earlier has something going on. Like some kind of deal maybe with the park? It's beautiful. I can literally just... It smells so good. <laughs> if you have allergies, I don't know. <laughs> but it smells good to be. All right, this is the map of the park. It's nice that they have everything listed in English. And if you want to do the sightseeing car, which is you don't actually have to walk the park, it is the red path that you can see there. It'll take you kind of around and up the hills. Also, <laughs> you can do go-karts here. I can't believe that. It's that right there. This is the go-kart path. And you can see the price. So for adults, Otana is uh, 500 yen. They have multiple languages here. Well, obviously, this is like junior high school and above. We're gonna do... Ah, koko ka! Yatta! Years, I've been seeing this spot on Instagram which caught my eye because of the beautiful pink moss blocks, the Shiba Zakura, and the Japanese pink Tori gate sitting right in the middle. I would say that this is probably the photo spot of the park. Around the gate there are little man-made walkways for people to walk out onto to get an amazing photo of the flowers and the Tori gate together. Of course I couldn't resist and I also snagged a photo there. Get in a car and drive someplace far. Yeah, we could go for a ride. We are now gonna walk to the top. I definitely know there's another pink Tory gate at the top. We did it, we came from all the way down there. Now it doesn't look that steep or that high, but let me tell you, it's a little bit of a workout. The view is beautiful. I can just imagine if it's not patchy, like some of the places, it would be like stunning but it's still beautiful and the smell is so nice you can see the go-kart area around there and there's like the camping the little metal tins there are actually where you can camp and then you have some of the stalls here that's where we entered and then the stalls. I love that there's like almost nobody here because it's so early and we are taking the kind of less steep path down. So we came up over there and we're coming down on the other side, kind of like towards the go-karts. So you can see this is the sightseeing car terminal. So I think this is one of the stops that the bus will do around the park in case you don't want to climb or if climbing is difficult. We are going to take again the kind of slow winding path down instead of the very steep one. The shape of the moss flocks is very similar to that of a cherry blossom, sakura. So it might be one of the reasons why it's referred to as shiba sakura, which can translate to lawn cherry blossoms. This park is definitely a perfect place for nature and flower lovers. I even got to see some wisteria which bloom late in Hokkaido like everything else because it is situated in the north. Side note, if you have allergies, I would highly recommend you taking some medication before coming to here. The bloom for Shiba Zakura is generally between mid-May to early June. And for reference, I went here on May 24th. You can check the park's website for their live blooming updates and see the park through their live camera. Okay, I'm by the go-kart place now. They look kind of small. I wonder if they're for like children or if adults can do them. So I'm gonna check and I'm gonna ask how much the price is. So it's 300 yen. Wake up 2 p.m. I don't know where we are. Looks like a cheap motel with our clothes on the floor. I don't know how we ended up here. And we've been flying high. Are we going too far? I got no cash left and I'm losing my job over you. But I don't care about that.
that was fun. $3 for 850 meters. Kind of felt like I was in the Mario Kart adventure. I'm gonna get Shiba Sakura soft cream from here. Yay! <laughs> and it all looks so good. Alright, I got the ice cream. I'm gonna eat it. It's good. It's actually really good. It's like hints of vanilla, slightly floral. But it's not an overpowering taste. I would totally order this again. Just as we're leaving, a bunch of tour buses rolled in and students. More and more people started to filter in as we were leaving for our next destination, which is about a four hour drive from where we were in Ozora. Stay tuned for my amazing five star stay in Hokkaido. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So I